It's week 41 of Zer, so we're going to find out what he has this week, and I'm going to give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, like I said, it is week 41 of Zer, and Zer is located on the Traveler, in the top right hand corner, so we're going to mark him, and then find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up dude? So, like always, we are going to go ahead and start with the left hand side. And the first exotic we'll be going over is the Skull of Daya Ahamkara for the Warlock. This comes with one mobility, resilience, and recovery. In terms of perk on this is actual uh, grandeur, which provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb. Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. Then we also have Mobility Enhancement mod, Restorative mod, as well as a Void Paragon mod. Now, this is a decent exotic for the Warlock. There are better exotics out there. So, with that said, I'm probably going to go ahead and give this maybe a tier 3 in PvP, but probably, uh, maybe definitely a tier 2.5 in PvE, because when you do have those moments when you get a whole bunch of ads, and, um, you can obviously know about them, and you get a lot more super energy, uh, coming back to you. Next exotic we're going to be going over is the Graviton Forfeit for the wonderful, wonderful hunters out there. This also comes with one mobility, resilience, and recovery. We're going to skip over the weapon of the week real quick. And treasure perk on this is Vanishing Shadow, which increases the duration of any invisibility effects. Your melee recharges faster while you are invisible. This also comes with Pastille Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as Void Ordnance mod. If you guys do not have this Go ahead and grab it. Graviton Forfeit is a great exotic for PvE and PvP, uh, but it is probably, to me personally, a better exotic in PvE. So with that said, I am going to give this a tier 1.5 in PvE, but definitely is still a tier 2 in PvP. Still a good exotic to use, so if you guys don't have it, go ahead and grab it. Next exotic that we'll be going over is the Armamentarium for the Titan class. This comes with three resilience and one recovery. And trying to perk on this is, and another thing, which you gain an additional grenade charge. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as Power Munition Loader. Now, this is a good exotic from Destiny 1, and it still is a good exotic in Destiny 2. Um... If you put this on your striker class, it does not give you a third grenade. So, you, regardless, you still only have two grenades on your striker class. However, it will give you a second grenade if you choose the other tree. Because one of the trees give you a second grenade, but if you choose the other tree, this will give you a second grenade. So it's still good in that kind of uh, use. With that said, double grenades as a titan, amazing. Pulse grenades, lightning grenades. I still use lightning grenades because I still think it's good. So, still good exotic. I would give it a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. If you guys don't have it, go ahead and grab it. The weapon of the week is the Colony. It is a void grenade launcher. Treasure perk on this is insectoid robot grenades, which this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Then we have linear compensator. High velocity rounds serve the colony, which insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And last but not least, we have composite stock, and like all exotics, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod. If you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. Uh, I actually did forget to show you guys. Uh, Vice Silver is the ornament for it. I think there's only one ornament. Uh, but if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. This thing is freaking pretty much the meta. When it comes to uh, power weapons, grab it. It's good. You probably most likely will not regret it. If you don't already have it. As for our consumables, we have the three of coins. Which, you pop one, you have a chance to get an exotic for four hours. And last but not least, we have the five of swords. Which is your nightfall challenge card. You can only get it once. If you guys don't have it, go ahead and grab it. It's pretty good to use. And last but not least, we have your faded engram. 
Once again, I will give you the disclaimer. If you guys do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and grab these first before popping the Faded Engram because you do have a chance to get one of these exotics for the Faded Engram if you don't already have them. I already have all of them, so I'm going to go ahead, pop this, and get my wonderful exotic for my tight on my hunter that I don't already have. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.